Hi, hello, welcome to VHDL Basics. Today we are going to see about uh, falling edge detector in uh, VHDL. So this is the circuit diagram of falling edge detector. If you see here, uh, there are uh, two flip top. Uh, so uh, in this example, I am going to explain why we need two flip flop. Uh, what will happen if we are using uh, only uh, one flip flop? Okay. So if you see here, uh, uh, there are um, uh, two inputs, uh, signal which we are going to detect uh, whether uh, that signal is having falling edge or not uh, and clock, uh, with respect to clock only we are going to detect uh, the falling edge and uh, we are having a reset and output port uh, falling edge detector here I am uh, giving the name for output is nothing but uh, neg edge detector so ne underscore d also uh, here we are uh, I am uh, implementing uh, falling edge detector in uh, VHG, VHDL right for that I am um, I, we need to use uh, IEEE uh, standard logic library so first two line uh, indicates uh, that is the library I am going to use for this particular uh, VHDL uh, module. Okay, so entity uh, entity where we are going to declare the uh, input and output ports actually. So architecture behavior of uh, uh, negative detector is uh, so the there are two uh, intermediate signals required. Uh, in this circuit diagram if you see here uh, the first flip-flop output uh, is nothing but uh, sig underscore d1 and uh, second flip-flop output is nothing but uh, sig underscore d2 so the first flip-flop output uh, we are going to connect uh, to uh, in the second flip-flop input uh, so uh, we need a separate signal for that turn um, and also the output of the second flip-flop uh, we are going to connect that signal to the uh, and get so we need uh, another uh, signal that's why we are I am declaring two signals here so uh, in Verilog we are we will use always here we need to use uh, process so uh, so inside the process we need to have a sensitive list here uh, clock reset and signal are the uh, should be present in the sensitive list okay uh, and uh, then um, we need to uh, check the reset if the reset is asserted um, both the uh, um, uh, flip-flop output will be uh, resetted so here I am assigning to 0 and then uh, if every rising edge of the clock uh, I am assigning input sig, sig to uh, sig underscore d1 and uh, sig underscore uh, d2 will be d1 will be assigned to sig underscore d2 so uh, here uh, we are having two uh, stage flip-flop here and then we need to end the if statement in uh, end if and then we need to end the process uh, end process and then we need to implement uh, that uh, uh, combinational logic so not of uh, sig underscore d1 and with uh, sig underscore d2 will give you the falling edge uh, pulse of input signal okay so uh, i am going to simulate uh, this particular uh, uh, module and i will explain the waveform see uh, every uh, the sig has two uh, falling edge here so every uh, falling edge we are having one proper pulse in the output now I am going to use only one uh, flip-flop so for that uh, sig not of sig and with uh, sig underscore d1 if you see here uh, the output uh, uh, is not directing the pulse properly and also the pulse width of the uh, output is uh, not even uh, one clock pulse to uh, sometimes we may miss this pulse so for that only we are we require two uh, stage flip flop okay thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos